Yo, what up, everybody? Cameron Van Hoy. Hope you're having an awesome day. I want to talk about Final Cut with editing a movie. It's very important. I want to focus in on the conversation. It's more of like a pondering conversation about how to negotiate Final Cut deals. Because everyone's always fighting over Final Cut. Everyone wants Final Cut, okay? Very few get it, all right? But like the director wants Final Cut because... You can make or break a movie in the editing room. It's very important to maintain control over the film and over the editing if you are the director, if you are the filmmaker, because, man, you could shoot great stuff and it just gets edited like absolute crap. So I understand where that sentiment comes from. At the same time, the studio or the financier is concerned because they want to make sure they have a product that they believe can sell, right? There's certainly been scenarios where a director is just becoming self-indulgent or uh, egotistical or crazy and making choices that might be really for themselves and not necessarily best for the audience. This can happen. Absolutely, this can happen. And so studios want to protect themselves and make the best film possible for their buyers, whoever their buyers are. Now, by the way, not all the time is a production company or a studio's buyer a large audience. Many times it's just these like kind of aggregate entities that exist around the world that buy films for their own audience. And yeah, sure, that buyer is trying to cater to their audience. But I mean, many times they're moving in such numbers. They're just like checking boxes, like who's in it? What's the genre? How much action? How much suspense? How much, you know, whatever, you know, like their basics, like boom, 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 boom. Okay, watchable, boom right? And it's not necessarily the end viewer who is voting with their dollar to the source of the film. I digress. Anyways, you'll want to make sure that you're, you know, making a good movie. The seller wants to make sure that they're making a good movie. The financier wants to make sure they're making a good movie. Good is subjective to everybody and thus the battle for final cut. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you as a filmmaker to just like fight for it no matter what. All right. Because if you're put on the line and it's like, hey, you're going to get two and a half million dollars to make your movie, but you're not going to get final cut. And if this entity is not going to budge, what do you do? Like, how do you compromise on that? And by the way, maybe you don't. Maybe the right answer. And maybe some of you will be like, nope, not compromising. And maybe that's right. I am pontificating about different ways to deal with this. Here's one. Um, Asking that your cut as a filmmaker is the cut that gets submitted to film festivals, right? So it's like, okay, you want to have final cut in case your buyers are really, you need, you need to pack more action in there or something. Fine. You can do that. I just want to make sure my cut is the one that's sent to the film festival since It's not a buyer situation necessarily, even though buyers are coming to look at it. It's not, you're not delivering it to the buyer. Let mine go to the festival. And many times a financier might concede on this. And this can be in the favor of the director, by the way, because the cut that goes to the festival, if it's a great cut and it screens and buyers are like, we want this movie. Well, they're going to want that cut. So you're done. You did your job. You got it. Boom. Right. Sneak attack. Um, But it's something to think about. And it doesn't have to be a sneak attack because they can still, if the film doesn't perform there, maybe cut it up in different ways or I don't know what else, but at least it's a little bit more of a compromise. Another idea is test screenings, right? Like working something out where it's like, look, I understand the concerns that you have about Final Cut and why you want it. And I hope you understand my concerns about Final Cut. If we ever get into a stalemate where we can't mutually just kind of bang it out together, right? Like I, as a director, do my edit, present it to you. You watch it and you go, we have some notes. We want to work on a little bit. We work, we work in good faith. What are the notes? Okay, get a cut. Let me get you a new cut, show it. If that's still after maybe a few sessions is not appeasing you, then let's go do some test screenings. Let's test it in front of an objective audience. That way, at least you can like mitigate the chances of two egos fighting over who has the power. Because that can happen in a scenario like that. One person gets like, oh, this is mine. The other one's like, no, no, it's mine. And then you're not even really fighting for the thing anymore. You're just kind of positioning and 
let someone else determine, let a proper test screening, you can designate it, how many people have to be at the screening, not friends or family of either of the parties, whatever. You can have an outside there, outside companies, kind of expensive, but you can pay them and they'll do it. You know, and it's just, let's do a test. One, it's a great thing to do anyways, right? So we test screen the cut and we were, and then we work off the feedback from that test screening. And then we do one more. And if it's improved, then that's the cut, you know, that's let, let that be the cut. I mean, it's, you know, it's an idea. It's one way to maybe negotiate or three is like having some objective third party come in, someone who can mitigate in a scenario and just say like, look, if for whatever reason we're arguing, I'm not going to say I know best. Let's not say you know best. Let's have a third party come in and take a look at it and just let us know which way they lean. You know, so these might be interesting compromises, maybe like a mutually approved third party and their say goes. That way there's no more stalemate, but it's like someone else come in, here's the thoughts, and maybe they can give some advice. And say, all right, maybe work on this a little bit of that. And if you can come to compromise, right? Arbitrate it, come to compromise, great. And if not, just you you determine whose cut is better, theirs or mine, you know? So these are some ideas to think about when negotiating for final cut. It is important and it's certainly something to not be just like glossed over. Um, but I also don't know that it's something that, especially early on in your career, you can really dig your heels in on. Hope that helped. Thanks very much. Have a great day.